We are going to look at multiplying positive and negative numbers in different combinations. Let's start looking at positive numbers. You should be familiar with your times tables. You know that 3 times 4 is equal to 12. If we move down the 3 times tables, we get 3 times 3 is equal to 9, 3 less than 12. Another step down the table gives us 3 times 2 is equal to 6, another 3 less. Each step down the table reduces the value by 3. So when we get to 3 times 0, it must be 0. We can keep reducing the number we are multiplying 3 by by using negative numbers. Again, we would subtract 3 to give us negative 3 and we can start to generate a negative times table. If we look at this negative times table we can see that a positive multiplied by a negative gives a negative product. We can do the same thing by reducing the first number we are multiplying by. This time, each reduction reduces the product by 4. Again, we can start to build a negative times table. From this times table, we can see that a negative multiplied by a positive gives a negative product. We can combine the two by starting to work down the negative times table. This time, each time we reduce the number we are multiplying by, the product increases by 3. We can repeat this process to give us another negative times table. So we can see that a negative multiplied by a negative gives a positive product.